Hello everyone! In the last video, we got Django installed and a project set up. In this video, we're going to create a new app, some models, and set up the Django admin. In Django speak, an app is a Python package that contains related features and data models. So you might have an app that deals with the inventory of a store, and another app that deals with the store's customer accounts, and another app that deals with the employees of the store. In general, you want each app to be as concrete as possible to make them easier to manage and reuse. The first step when creating an app isn't coding, it's planning. First, it's important to think about the shape of your data. What values do you need to store? How complex could each one be? Which ones are actually required? Second, planning gives you a chance to run the code by someone else. It's much easier for people to read a list of possible fields than it is for them to read some code. Third, you can catch mistakes that are hard to undo. Sometimes a field seems relatively simple until you take a harder look at what might go into it. Finally, it's nice to have something to refer to. It's easier to code when you can just look over a plan to see what you need to do next, rather than stop and think about it. So let's plan our first model. I wanted to choose something that most people are familiar with, but that still has a lot of subtle gotchas, so I decided to make my project about tracking my books. Books seem like a fairly simple thing to represent, but they're actually quite complex. These are all of the attributes I could think of when it comes to a book, and I modified them a few times as I thought of different use cases. For example, a book can have more than one author or more than one genre. I also realized that some books have websites that go with them. Even with all of this, I know I missed a few, but I decided that this was what I wanted to track for now. To begin with, I'm going to keep our model pretty simple and focus on a few simple attributes. You define what kind of data you're storing with model fields. There's quite a few, but I'm sticking to the most basic five. A char field stores characters, usually a small number of them. A text field is for storing larger blocks of text. An integer field stores integers. Likewise, a float field stores floats. And finally, a boolean field stores boolean values. Here, I've circled all the fields that can be represented by those fields. Title and subtitle will be char fields. Blurb will be a text field. Number of pages will be an integer field. Price will be a float field. And in print will be a boolean field. Now that we have our plan, let's set up our app. The first thing to do is to activate your virtualenv again, and then cd into your project directory. Next, type python manage.py startup and the name of your app. I'm going to call mine books, because all I intend to put in here are things related to books. Django will create a skeleton app for you. Next, I like to tell Django that I actually want to use this app by adding it to my installed apps in the settings file. To do this, I open settings.py under better reads, look for installed apps, and add books to the end of the list. Let's go over what's in the app directory. First, we have init.py, which tells Python to treat this folder as a module. It's generally empty. Then we have admin.py. This is where we'll put all the code related to the admin interface for this app. Next, we have apps.py. This holds configuration information for your app. After that, we have models.py, where we'll store all of the models for this app. Test.py is where we'll store all of the tests for our app. And views.py is where we'll store all of the views for our app. We also have a folder for all of our migrations. Right now it's empty, save for an init.py file. In this video, we're only going to be touching two of these files, models.py and admin.py. Let's create the model for a book. I'm going to call this model book, singular, since it'll represent a single book in the database. Note that book will inherit from models.model, which will give it a bunch of extra features we won't have to bother coding. Next, I'm going to add the model attributes we talked about earlier. For each one, I'll give it a sensible name and use the appropriate Django model field. Some of these attributes require delimiters. Char and text fields always require a maximum number of characters, so I set that, making sure to pad out that number, since if someone tries to enter a value that's 1 over, we'll get a 500 error. I also want to decide which of these fields will be required in the admin. I decide that only title should be required, since not every book has a set price or even a set number of pages, like some ebooks that update every now and then. To make a field not required, I add blank equals true to that field. In other words, that field can be blank. Finally, I want to set a default value for in print. For the most part, all of the books I own are going to be in print, so I want to set this to true by default. I do this by adding default equals true to that field. One thing you always want to set for each model is the string method. 
This determines how Django will reference this particular object in the admin. If you forget, everything will be called book object. To keep it simple, I tell Django that I want the books to be referred to by their title. You can get fancier here as long as the value that's returned is a string. Now that our model is set up, we need to create some migrations for them. Migrations are the files that tell Django what needs to be done to the database in order to match our model. For example, we may want to add a field, remove a field, add a different default value, or make a field required or not. Django creates migrations automatically through the Make Migrations function. To use this function, open up your terminal and type python manage.py make migrations. Django will go through every installed app to see if any changes need to be made to the database. When I run the make migrations function on my project, you can see that Django found that I added a new model and created a migration for it. That migration is stored in that app's migration folder. To apply new migrations, simply run python manage.py migrate. At this point, we're almost done. The only thing we have left to do is to set up our admin for this app. Django doesn't add models and apps to the admin by default. Instead, we have to edit admin.py. Open up admin.py. There's three steps to adding a model to the admin. Import the model, create the model admin, and register it. First, import the book model by adding the line from books.models import book. Second, create the model admin. I always call my model admin something similar to my model, so I'm calling this one book admin. Note that I'm inheriting from admin.modeladmin and that I'm just passing because I don't need anything fancy for my admin yet. Third, we register the model at the bottom of the file by adding the line admin.site.register book book admin. Save the file and go check out the admin. If everything was done correctly, then the admin should now have a book section in it and you should be able to add books. Go ahead and add a few books because we'll want something to work with in the next video. It can be a bit of work to get your first app set up, but after this, things go much more quickly. In the next video, I'll go over setting up some views so that we can show the world our data. And that's all I have for now. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or track me down on Twitter.